everybody, this is Neil Filer and this is the Evolutionary Astrology Message, this time between Spring Equinox at the 20th, 21st of March until the 29th, 28th of March. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank everyone who supported me after my last video. I got tremendous support from astrologers worldwide and the discussion that this made through the support of these people mostly ladies, support of these ladies, but also men, has brought me to tears, to joyful tears. Not only for the recognition of the change that is needed, but also because of the importance of this discussion and the change that it, it is disseminating in our realms. And the damage, the great damage that it can prevent to students and teachers alike in the future. So, ladies and kind sir, <laughs> thank you for your support. Um, so we start this with the spring equinox in the northern realms, in the northern sphere. And in the southern sphere, this is the day that autumn starts. And this is the time of the year that the sun approaches Chiron. A very healing time, a time of really um, recoiling inside, whether it is before spring and the need to spring anew and to renew our lives, or this recoiling inside that happens every autumn in the waiting for winter. It is a time of peeling off layers that do not belong to us no more. It is a time of healing, but it is a time that is sensitive because of it. When we peel off our armor, every wind is a gust. And we need to remember that and be kind to ourselves and others at this time. Do not exhaust our energies as well as the sun is about life energies and Chiron is, a, is about wound and healing <laughs> so definitely a sensitive time but a great time for healing and peeling off everything that isn't needed as a part of your future even though it might have been a very beneficial supportive part of your past doesn't mean that it needs to be there in the future and it is about doing less but less that is worth more to you understanding better how and what we came here to do and the image in your head should be of the samurai you know sharpening his blade and truly what he's doing is taking off that blade all the unnecessary metal that was there so that blade can do what it came here to do to cut there's a nice saying in Japanese like a sword in water so may we cut like swords in water but may these moves that we make be gentle enough so we don't cut others or ourselves <laughs> um, so that's one thing that is happening and it's already healing in the sky with two of the personal planets sextiling uh, i'm talking about mars and venus sextiling chiron already and then we have uh, pluto and mercury sextiling on the 28th i think or something like that later on the 26th 26th so a very transformative healing energy is in the sky already um, but that's not the only energy in the sky unfortunately we have an exact square um, between Mars planet of male energy and Uranus planet of changes upgrade and rebellion and this can cause a variety a plethora of occurrences first and foremost this makes us less tolerant we could lose our temper more easily. We could be more um, 
confrontational and independent and it can make some people obnoxious but it can make some people act in ways that yes are individualistic and are in and, and are independent but are brilliant you know like superheroes as well however on the general level when i look at you know our warring world what happens in ukraine this is a time that is notorious for reckless behavior for high jumps in our blood pressure <laughs> um health wise and so staying out of you know the fire at this time both in our personal lives and hopefully in the international realm although i am concerned is a great thing um the good thing is is that venus is approaching saturn on the 28th they would touch um and when venus and saturn touch we could reach agreements both with ourselves regarding how we treat ourselves and our bodies both with money issues in our in our uh, um, in our lives and with other people so it's a good time to settle things it's a good time to actually give them form that would last strategically whether it is a relationship that was budding before and now becomes more established or a new job that was on trial before and now becomes a long-term thing or maybe us taking greater responsibility and acting more mature regarding how we treat our own body and our self-esteem and respect however Saturn is a judge and if there have been things that we have neglected in the relationships with ourselves with money or with others these are the times that these that that negligence would rise up to the surface and be judged so and we still have a few days <laughs> Yes. Other than that, we have Mercury planet of information, of moves, of um, conversation, conjuncted by Jupiter and then Neptune, and then sextiling Pluto. The sextile of Pluto and Mercury, I'm not worried about. I'm happy about it because it will shatter any of the illusions of the previous conjunctions. When Mercury conjuncts Jupiter and then Neptune, and certainly when they are together, on the good hand, this is an amazingly rich time with, um, you know, inspiration and creativity and spirituality. But it could be such a romantic time that you don't see reality as it is and you're acting out of your own delusions. Um, hopefully, no world leader will. Vladimir. <laughs> um, yeah so we have to watch out in our personal lives that we actually see the full picture as it is that we understand things as they are that we keep it real it's a great time for inspiration as I said and broadening your horizons um, that's about everything I had to say, but I want to say one more thing about this day and age and about our ability as human beings to see both the shadow and the light of a person in a person. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I was taken back positively by the good response to my video and support that it got. And definitely, I don't want to exclude myself or any other person from the same boat that the persons that we talked about, Alan Oaken, and any other, you know, person that has sinned, in a sense, you know, is in. We all have shadows. And in this day and age, when the nodes are in Scorpio, and aiming towards Taurus 
we need to confront the fact that we are all sunny and shadowed and it is all of our jobs to recognize that shadow to bring in that light none of us are excluded and if we think we are we are open to the vain mistakes that these people have made so let's resonate on that thank you for listening thank you for sharing thank you for commenting may we all live long and prosper this is Nia Fana signing out bye bye